What's up, boys? Guess what I got? Yep, the new EP8 that came out. You can definitely see the difference there. Looks like they use a different camera too. This is the EP7 camera with the gimbal set up. And this is the EP8 camera with the gimbal set up. As you know, I've been using the EP7 for like about a year now it's definitely my favorite headset and it replaces my GoPro I don't even use my GoPro anymore my only issue with this is the audio it clips like it doesn't have an automatic limiting control circuit in the microphone circuit everything else is A plus I'm gonna put my Ordro EP7 on and do a review on new Ordro EP8 I'm so excited. I didn't even look up what the new specs are. Want it to be a surprise for both of us. So it does come with a remote control video. Okay, I I pushed the video button. So it's the same frequency apparently. But it comes with a remote. Charging, let's see. And look at that, they went to USB C. Bravo on that. This is the wristband for the remote. A cleaning cloth. The Spanish novel. The manual. This one comes with a 64 gigabyte SanDisk SD card. Extra ear protection pieces. Little wire clips that go around the back of your headband. And I don't know what that is. Oh, that, yeah, that's the little wrench to tighten up the camera to the headband. I knew that. And an SD card reader. Oh, look, it comes with the four different types. That's new. And, ta-da, the brand new Ordro EP8. Look at that beauty. Feels like it might be a little heavier. So let's get this mounted up. Oh, this looks like it's bowed a little bit compared to the old one. When I'm done, I'll put the other one side by side. It's about where my other one is. Put my ear protector on. And she done comes with the HDMI on the back like the original EP7 not the original because I never got the EP5 the USB-C charger and the SD slot so let's put that in now my EP7 got two hours and ten minutes of recording time I'm curious to see if they put a bigger battery in this That hole's a little deeper. That's what she said. Oh, 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 that's what she said. Let's hear it. See if it's got a different boot up sound. Same. We'll switch headsets. One thing I noticed right off the bat, I can definitely hear the camera gimbal moving a lot more than this did all right so that last ordro ep8 that was sent was defective so they sent me a new one so let's finish this review this is packaged differently too doesn't have the traditional round box it has a remote the headband 
Yeah, that first one, you know, has the image stabilization on the lens. It was just very jerky, so it had to have something defective with it. Looks like everything is the same as in the other one. Right, Kitty? That's Sago. So let's put this card in there and do a quick test and then charge it up and then we'll do some real-time test outdoors. Plug directly in with the supplied wire. USB-C connector, which is nice. It's plugged in. Hmm. Now usually it pops up on the screen and turns it on. Oh, USB. There we go. So let's get into the video. Let's play it directly. Let's see what it does. <laughs> Pretty good. Right here. The lens seems to be working perfectly right now. So let's transfer this. See what the transfer rate is on the cord it's supplied. Huh, about 20 megabytes per second. As you could see, we're recording at 4K, 30 frames per second. So far, so good. Now the EP8 has a low light mode, or they call it a night mode, so let's go try that out. We'll go in a container. This is recording a 4K 30 frames per second. I'll show you the app. Let's close ourselves in here as much as possible. That's pretty low light. can barely see. There's just enough light to be able to just about see everything. We will do a night test too, of course. The gimbal doesn't move much on this. You can't hear it at all. You can just barely see it moving. Let's see how quick the light responds to the iris. to enter into Wi-Fi mode you tap the power button quickly and you'll hear it and that'll be flashing so let's go into the app OD cam is the app it doesn't find it because you got to get it through the Wi-Fi One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Connect. So here you can monitor what's on your headset recorder, of course. You have to download it to watch it, of course, because it's 4K, it's a large file. You could delete it from here, which I am going to delete that one. There's also photo. I took a photo while I was outside. That will display. Let's 
And then you have your settings on the upper left here. You see it has 5G Wi-Fi you're connecting to, so it's fast. We're at 3840 by 2160 at 30 frames per second. You can go up to 60 frames per second and all these other options. We'll stick with 30 frames per second for now. Voice recording is on. Loop recording is off. Date display is off. You have a slow motion option. Time lapse recording mode. And the two below are for the time lapse section. The photo resolution is 4320 by 3240. That goes up to 20 megapixels which is 5200 by 3900. Of course, that's 4-3 ratio. It shows the micro SD card is inserted. Shows you how much time, which I have almost two hours remaining for the memory space. You can format it here. Here's your exposure. You can raise or lower the brightness of the camera as it records. Distortion correction is on because it does have a wide angle lens now. The firmware version is April 16th, 2022, version 1.2.4. This app version is 3.1. So everything's set up good in there. That's basic and straightforward. If I had files that I downloaded, they'd be in there, which is the My Files. You can record from here and take a screenshot from here. You can do 9 by 6 or 16 9 on this for all you TikTokers. That's going to be good. So that's about it for the app, really. Hey, kitty. You don't want no kisses? This is low light in this room. There's one bulb right there. We're going to try this in the evening, as it says, more video tests. Can't use my motorcycle unless I don't use a helmet. So, let's use a Jeep. Let's see how it works in the Jeep. my dirty windshield you take the shortcut ducks in a row. If you don't know what that is, ask one of your Jeep friends. How clear can you see the back of that truck? There's some free advertisement ProTech. Alright, one thing I did notice with this new unit is when you're not recording the power's on, the EP7 used to shut off automatically for a certain time. And this happened. You got it leave it long enough, we'll find out. Also, this is recording at 4K. I normally record at 1080. So eventually I'm going to switch to 1080, but this is 4K, so you can see how good it is, of course. Man, these poor people had their freaking garage burned down. Not dark yet, but in this area it's a little shady. Uh oh, someone's stuck. And 
this does not have an automatic power off like the old ones did. I left the power on for almost 15 minutes and it never shut itself off. So that's different from the EP7. So I'm curious, I believe it has HDR, which means it should regulate for the high brightness outside and also the dark areas inside. And I'll be using this as my main recording device. So if you have any questions after this video, you can ask on this video and I'll answer them in the next couple videos even though it may not be related to this camera itself. Alright, it's 8.30 and the sun is pretty much down, but you know, down here in Florida, the sky stays pretty bright for a while. The EP7 struggled about here. This is about as dark as you'd get. In the woods it's pretty dark. I don't know if you can see anything. So we'll wait another 15-20 minutes and try it again. Alright, I put the EP7 above the EP8. I'm hoping they're looking at about the same angle. Just for a comparison, audio and video, I usually have to boost the EP7 pretty good. Take a look in the woods. Pretty dark in the woods. I could just about make out the trees. You can see a sunset over there. Now, I think the EP7 would be struggling pretty hard to pull out any light. If the EP8 does good, I'll be impressed. Seems like the EP7, the camera on the gimbal moves a lot more than the EP8 does. Probably because it has a narrower field of view. This is a jungle in the back of the yard. There's the wind, so you can hear the difference on both of them. It'll be pitch black here soon. About another 15-20 minutes anyway. So we'll wait it out. Just about 9 o'clock. Pretty dark, not pitch black. You can just about see with the human eye. Skeeters are getting me. Just about pitch black. I could still see enough to walk. I don't think it's going to get much darker than this because the moon is out. So this is moonlight. This is underneath a low powered LED solar light. That's the best we're going to get, boys. Go back in and see what we got. What? Cat tore everything up. Well, let's see how she turned out. So I have to give my thoughts on this new EP8. I'm a little bit disappointed with the stabilization. Seems like the EP7 definitely has better stabilization. The audio is definitely better. Quality is better of sound. And they did turn it up a bit so it doesn't have to be ramped up in the editing program. But the problem is it doesn't have an automatic leveling control, an ALC circuit. Got all my ducks in a row. If you don't know what that is, ask one of your Jeep friends. So loud noises would be compensated for. The microphones on the EP8 seem to be a lot worse in the wind than on the EP7. So the audio circuit definitely needs some work. And it needs work on the EP7 too. 
The field of view is claimed to be wider than the EP7 on the EP8, but in the videos, it looks like it's not. It looks like it's actually a narrower view. Now I turned the distortion correction off, and I noticed the field of view got quite a bit wider. So that's probably what's messing with the 130 degrees and narrows it down to less than 90. I'll show you. See the difference? You see where the door is open? You have a couple inches there. And then you have this little antenna right here. I'm going to put the distortion correction off again. See how much wider that view is? Now I did switch it to 1920 by 1080 because that's what I'll be recording at. So let's see if that changes anything with the field of view. Nope, that's the same. So I'm going to keep it 1920 by 1080, 30. I'd rather have the wide field of view. It honestly doesn't seem like the camera's using its image stabilization it looks like it's definitely working side to side but not up and down yeah it's working side to side but it doesn't really look like maybe it is a little bit very little up and down the night videos were a bit better than the EP7 but then it turned into almost like a wash. So I got my little wireless gate opener. We'll wire that up, we'll see how this works. I have distortion correction turned off. I had a bunch of people mention when that wind blows, maybe put a little piece of foam over it. Maybe that's a good idea. Might have to try that. Tape a piece of foam. Got my little Odie Ride screwdriver. Thanks. Using it already. Put my positive as a stripe. Should be able to pick up my Wi-Fi from here. It did yesterday. Oh yeah, it locked it. I'm not sure which one's a tap off of here, but I believe it would be cycle. I hope cycle doesn't mean do the whole thing off and on. Let's see. Oh, I gotta turn it on. Looks like it works, boys. Yeah, I know I probably shouldn't just lay that in there, but it is a sealed box and there's nothing metal for it to hit. Should be fine. There. All done. Wider field of view does result in less motion. Now I'm not sure if anything can be fixed in firmware and the camera does have a lot of potential. So if you like what you saw and you're interested in one, I'll have links down below and on motorcheese.com. Thanks for watching guys.
Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.